Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. So this week was supposed to be a Young Nails mystery box reveal, but Young Nails decided to ruin it for all nail tech creators and they sent out a blast to everybody that's on their email list letting us know what is gonna be in the large mystery box. They ruined that surprise for us, which I'm a little upset about, but I did choose to watch the video. And by now, I'm sure you've seen other people post it. So I thought, what can I talk about? So what I need to do is get my room holiday ready. So this is like a day in the life slash nail room tour. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, vlog. And basically my room is gross. I have color swatches I need to do products that I need to make. I need to clean my room. I need to decorate my room for the holidays, which I always do. I have to put up new refreshments. I am expecting my mystery box. So if I do get that, I might include that in this video as well. Just me opening it. Let's see if maybe there's something different. Not sure, but we'll find out. And also I have some gift cards that I need to get ready to sell them. Anybody that wants to get gift cards for friends and family. So I have to write those out. I want it physical. physical cards this year, nothing digital. And then I'm also giving my clients some discount coupon cards. So I have to fill those off. So they're gonna be like scratch offs that everybody will get. And I also decided to give them an extended discount if you have referred somebody to me within the last year. So every client will get a gift and then they'll get additional for each referral that I have seen more than twice for this year. So I have a lot of work to do. I'm getting holiday ready. I'm excited, if you haven't tell. I like the Christmas time. So let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, I need to do some swatches. I have a whole bunch of nail polish that I've been hoarding behind me and I refuse to do swatches. I, out of everything in this industry, I think making swatches is like my the most annoying thing. I'll put 15,000 rhinestones on your nails, but ask me to do like a color swatch and I'm, I'm upset, I don't like doing it. So I have a bunch of nudes that I replaced. Let me just show you. So we have these, these, these. And these, so I have some new fall colors that I bought. I did not link these on my website, but they're gorgeous, gorgeous colors for the fall. So I will link these to the website. So I have to create new swatches for these. Uh, these are my nudes that I replaced, you know, tan, brown, nude. It's very popular now. I run through them like crazy, especially with these smaller bottles um, from Beatles, which do last me basically one whole year, but I have to replace them out in the beginning of the seasons. So I have to replace my nudes. I have to pull out all the ones from the wall that are empty and replace them with the new ones. So I don't really need to do swatches for these, but I need to replace them back on the wall. And I don't know what this is. Oh, these are new. These are dark ones. So I had to also do the same for my darks, my navies, dark greens and all that. I had to replace those as well. And then I have, these are from the summer. That's how long I've been hoarding this behind me. These are just some bright neon summer colors that I have that I need to just, again, pull from the wall and put these out get them from behind me. And I have some random colors that I bought and I never swatch. I've just literally been showing them to everybody. Like these are new. Don't forget to, you know, you want to check out these. So just like nudes because I was running out. I was in the beauty supply store. So I picked up a few of these, so I have to swatch these. And also I have to add some of my cover Young Nail colors to my acrylic swatches. So I have the cover Peach, Speed Bubblegum, cover Taupe, and cover Earth that I kind of really forgot about it. I keep them behind me, so I don't really remember. I use Valentino a lot more for my covers. So I need to do swatches for these. So I have to get started with that right now. So I just finished, I had to rewrite all my numbers for all the ones that I previously had, pull the ones that need to be redone. So that was part one, just rewriting all this because it's been worn off and all that stuff, pulling out the ones that, like I said, needed to be done again. So now that that's done, I had to cut, shape and buff 
the ones and then these are the new colors that I need to swatch right now. These are the new colors. These are gorgeous. I'm going to put these up on my website. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I already posted it already. But these are gorgeous. If you don't have any of the fall colors, this collection kind of gives you a little bit of everything. I love these glitters. Super pretty. Darks, some nudes, grays. This black is screaming New Year's. So pretty. Must have. So now I have these four acrylics that I bought a while ago and I need to make swatches for them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so I can put it with the rest of my nudes. These are the colors. This is so pretty. Like so many, I had one customer that I was willing to explore and do a full set with these. I have another one that really loved the peach gel. I love the peach gel so much that I wanted to buy it in acrylic. Bubblegum is nice, like a light pink. And then earth is kind of more tannish. Sorry if my lighting is off. But these are the four colors. Now on to the next thing. So now, I bought this on Amazon, it's on my website as well. It's a bunch of just Christmas stickers. You get a lot, it's a couple sheets in here. It's pretty big. So it could be as simple as you want. I guess if you want to be even more festive, you can go with this side. So I think I'm gonna just put a bunch of random red Christmas things around. this. Big ass Rudolph is a little much for me. So I'm gonna just put that enough so that it's a little Christmassy in here. So this is the room. I just did a few things. I didn't wanna have it look crazy. Just changed out my pillows, added that to the wall, added some over here, just so it has a little hint of Christmas. Nothing crazy again. All right, so I'm here decorating my room, get a knock at the door. Bex is here with my young nails box. So let's take a look at this box and see what's inside of it. Okay, so I had got some more Mission Control paints, which I love, I speak about it all the time. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Love, love, love these gel paints. I needed some more. The only thing that sucks is they do leak no matter how I sit them upright to the side, downward, no matter what I do, they always leak. So my intent for the new set is to not use them in these original pots that they come in. Look what they look like. This looks disgusting. Like This is not appealing. And I hate touching them no matter what I do. They just spill out. So I'm gonna remove them from this. I have some more little containers and I'm gonna dish it out and see how that holds up in trying to package it a little bit differently. But as a paint, I love them. And of course, Protein Bond. Anytime there's a sale, stock up on Protein Bond. So I had two Protein Bonds that I got from them. So this is the mystery box, which is not so much of a mystery. Did I break my nail? Okay. I think everybody's box is the same. So this is really not exciting. And you know, I just wanna point out that Young Nails, they know that a lot of creators in the nail world 
tend to do these reveals. But I think they wanted to steal the viewers and say, we're gonna release this ourselves so no one else can do a mystery box and get views and watches and make from that. So, nice, thank you. All right, so we have, again, you know, big giant nail liquid. Swipe, which I am excited about. I do need some, I'm running low. I love swipes, so I will be using this. Uh, you know, I love Synergy. I don't have white and I do need pink. So these will be used. I'm not mad about that. Base, I have a lot of base because I stocked up for Labor Day, but you can never have too many of something. Cover pink, cover white, speed clear, and speed white. So these four big acrylics, more foils they give you. I already said, I'm not a huge fan of the press foils. I'm really not. And what is this? Okay, so you get a bunch of gel polishes. Oh God, of course. Of course, right after I do all those swatches, now I have more polish to swatch. So this is gonna wait for the next swatch. And I got another protein one, which I like. So, that is all for the large mystery box. Like like he said, he kind of already went through this. Um, I just want to point out like the, the you have the two whites, the, the clear and the pink. So I already have so many Young Nails bottles already. And I don't use their liquid. I don't. Uh, so I do want to do a giveaway, a raffle, something. You guys leave me a comments below. I have this, I have two smaller ones. I probably will give all of these, I have a lot of clear. Cause I just opened this clear, I have another clear I didn't even open yet. I have a whole bunch of stuff that, some Valentinos that are good, so I have some Mia Secrets for new text. If you're interested in playing with it, it's barely used. So I might do a giveaway. I have a lot of stuff that I don't use. So leave me a comment below if you think I should do a raffle, a giveaway, something. Be creative. I don't know. What 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 can we do? What can I do on this channel to try to give one of you guys some of the stuff that I have because I don't need it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these will definitely be included in it because I do not like foil press foils. So and I might include some of these gel polishes as well. I'm running out of space to gel polish. I will look over some of them, but to be really honest, I will probably throw this in as well, most of this stuff. So leave me a comment below about what you think I should do to give this stuff away. Well, so I did do my products. I did it off camera. So I just made some more lotion, I have bubble gum, and I just named this Christmas candy. It's the regular candy but I just wanted it to be a little bit more tinted red. I don't want to add too much uh, mica powder, but this is new. I'm messing up my display. So that is that. So for my refreshments, I added, guys, if you haven't tasted this, I think this is going to be a problem for me. I'm seriously addicted to this. This is Instant Pike Place by Starbucks. So good. So now that winter is coming, I didn't, I had iced coffee for the summer. So now I'm back to just regular coffee and these are amazing. I will link these on my website as well. So you can buy those, my Biscoff, everybody loves those. I don't know if this was in the last tour, but I have creamers. I think this is on my website, I'll double check. If not, I'll put that there. So it comes with eight different flavors. It also comes with these sugars. I have added isn't this the cutest little thing ever? It's called unicorn poop. It's basically little packs of marshmallows that I had got to go along with my hot chocolate pack. So again, something I'm just doing for the winter months. This is double chocolate Ghirardelli. Super really, really, really like rich, good. Uh, I did switch out my cups a little while ago. So I thought these were cute. I mean, like if you're trying to be a bougie nail tech, hello. So this is adorable. I love the little handle, perfect for the hot cups. My straws, my stirrers, still got crystal light going on. Still have tea. I'm still trying to finish off some of my summer tea. I have both of these on my website. So 
So these are more like fruity and regular scents. Whereas you have the classics, the British breakfast and the green tea and jasmine and peppermint. Those are like all the winter ones. So, and then some water that I have. So this is what I have for my refreshments, my regular cups on the website as well, and the lids to go with them. And then I always just have my cold water, my hot water is empty right now because I'm not working. And that is it for my little refreshment stand for the winter. So I'm almost done. The last thing that I need to do is my gift card and my, well, not really my gift cards. I just wanna shoot like a little ad that I can put on my story so my customers know that I have gift cards. These are the gift cards that I got. Oh, duh. So this is the envelope that it comes in. I have this on my website as well. If you wanted to purchase this, which I always recommend, generate more income for yourself. So somebody would purchase a gift certificate for another family member, friend, whomever. And this is what they would receive. I'm thinking about maybe throwing in a cuticle oil pen, but I'm still thinking about that one. And then I have my thank you cards that I'm giving as gifts to all my clients. So they will get this. I have five different items that they can scratch off. So you rewrite right here what we're going to put on it. And then it comes with these little tabs that you cover. And it's cute. They can scratch it off and see what they want. So I have 50 of them. Five a piece are going to be different things. I think I'm doing like 10% off, $10 off free products, five will be five nails. So I'm gonna do five that are gonna be like a big bonus. So, and I'm gonna actually post that as well for them so they know. So it's kind of like, oh, did I get the free nails? You know, people. So I'm gonna do that for them. And then if you have referred anybody to me and they have seen me at least twice, then they will get an additional voucher for $5 off per referral. So I do have some people that referred two people to me so they will get their gift plus two five dollar vouchers so that's my way of saying thank you for business again if these per if these people have come to me at least twice throughout the year you know or most of them are more i kind of know off the top of my head who's gonna get what then it's definitely worth it you know they brought me income they brought me money so i can return the favor for Christmas time and give them a discount as a big thank you. Hopefully something like this will entice clients to refer more people if I continue to do this next year as well. So now I have to get started to fill these things out because it is December, I have appointments tomorrow. So, you know, we see people about once a month, every three weeks. So I have to start giving them out when I see my customers tomorrow. So I'm gonna get started working on that now. Okay, so these are filled out. I have them all shuffled up, filled out. Like I said, I have about 10 of each and then there's actually five free nail art and five full sets in here. So I'll post it and they'll know so we know who will be. Five lucky people will get a free full set. These are the vouchers that I'm gonna give for referrals that they've given me. And I just have a little sample gift certificate that I made again, just so I can like post it and let them know that I do have actual gift cards to get out. I'm done doing everything I needed to do today. Everything that you saw me use today, everything that I bought for the holidays, you will find on my website, www.keishanels.com, underneath the nail tech shop, underneath holiday essentials. That's the new one that I created, which lists all the stuff from the decorations, the gift cards, the vouchers, the coffee, everything that you saw me use today, I have put it on the website so you can have it for your customers and spoil them and be a bougie nail tech, so what? I don't care, don't judge me. So don't forget to like this video, please like it. It helps us creators so much. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, happy holidays, and I will see you next week, bye.